Hey everyone, this is Riddle Hacker AJ Raven, and with Easter coming up, WeTech decided to send over these new toys. They're like, yeah, they were released recently, and they wanted me to share them with you, our viewers, and give my thoughts. And of course, these toys have been sent to me for free for review, so this isn't like a sponsored video. So these four eggs that you see in front of you, these are from the Switch and Go series. So basically, hatch and roar egg, and I am a fan of dinosaurs. And basically, it feels like there's, uh, they feel like like transformers, but dinosaurs, and they turn into cars and other vehicles which yeah i'm here for it and the other item we have is this this time we basically have like a giant ape i guess it's like kind of king kong and it also has like 30 sounds and phrases which i yeah and it also has like chest pounding action so i'm looking forward to testing that out so let's begin with the eggs because again I am a fan of dinosaurs. As far as Easter is concerned, it's about egg hunting and whatnot. And yeah, I get that uh, chocolate eggs are a thing, but hey, if you're interested in gifting someone uh, something different but still egg themed, well, here you go. So I'm gonna open up the pterodactyl chopper first. The pterodactyl chopper, hatch and roar, two in one, easy to transform, and it's for. Uh, ages four and up. This is what the side looks like. Uh, this is the back. Face off with this fierce pterodactyl. Then transform him into an awesome chopper at dino roars and cool choppers. Okay, so it comes with sounds and everything. Vrr and screech. And we also have these stats. So speed, intelligence, and power. Uh, the other... Um, dinos in the line. We have a Velociraptor, a T-Rex, and a Triceratops. A Triceratops looks very very cute with its four legs. So, this is the packaging. And wake me up. Wake me up inside! <laughs> so wake me up. There is a button, but let's, let's press the button. Ooh. Okay, so I, but I guess I have to, I have to unpack it first, right? Now, as far as the packaging is concerned, uh, this isn't metal or plastic, it's paper, which, yeah, I'm here for it. So let's, yeah, let's unpack this. We have tape on the side. Okay, it flips over like this. We have the egg, and is it attached to something? It feels like it's attached to something. Yeah, this is, okay. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, it, it, I have to cut these paper thingies. Okay, it goes through here. It is well packaged. Okay, okay, now what? Uh, there's something in the back. Okay, come on, get out. Oh, oh. Yeah, the packaging is gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be a thing. Come on. Ooh. There's some sort of, oh, it has a plastic, okay, you see this? This is basically like a plastic screw that went in there to keep it in place. Okay, I guess the, all of them are supposedly going to have the same packaging, right? So should I, yeah, I think I should like unpack all of these first, but then I won't know which is which. You know what? Okay, okay, let's focus on one of them. So this is what the egg looks like. Uh-huh. It's giving me Power Rangers for some reason. <laughs> and you press the button. Oh! Is it hatching? Will it hatch by itself or do I need to open it? Yeah, it's trying to get out, right? Okay, so I guess you have to open it yourself. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, kids need an adult for this. Oh! Do I have to... Oh, I have to put it together. Oh, okay. So it's like a toy which promotes putting stuff together. Puzzle solving. Okay, I didn't see that coming. So we have assembly instructions. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? Considering I have to put these together, let's open everyone up. 
Okay, so I've opened all of these up. This is what the T-Rex species look like. Uh, he's blue. Then we have... Uh, where is it? Yeah. The Velociraptor is orange. Uh-huh. And then we have the Triceratops that's green. And the Pterodactyl is red. And again, I'm getting Power Rangers wipes. And as far as the packaging is concerned, when it comes to it, their stats... The Velocir uh, these are the stats for uh, the Velociraptor. Intelligence, of course, it's full because, yeah, she's a clever girl. Speed and power. Uh, then we have the Triceratops. Of course, the Triceratops is a very, very tough dinosaur. So her stats go into toughness. Not the most intelligent, comparatively. And as far as the T-Rex is concerned, uh, she is... Where is that? Okay, so she's power, toughness, and intelligence. So yeah, I guess I have to now <laughs> build all of them. They weren't joking when they were saying build, build, race, and roar, huh? It's on the packaging. Build, race, and roar. It's ups and down, but you can read it. Ooh, before I start building, so uh, this is the mechanism that's present inside all of the eggs here and it and you can add in cells so this is the mechanism that's giving out the sound like okay just press the button yep one so it's different sounds too three four okay yeah, basically like what? Four four different unique sounds? And the mechanism that gives the sounds in the eggs, it comes off too. Because it's going to be used in building the car or the dino or whatever you want to play with. And that's where the toy itself gets its roars and everything. The pterodactyl has a total of 14 parts. So not a lot, not a lot. It's going to be fun. If you are if you are doing this with a kid, of course the kid is going to need your assistance, but yeah, let's let's build this. <music> Okay, so here we have it. We have the pterodactyl chopper. Get in the chopper! <laughs> okay, so now this pterodactyl is supposed to turn into a car that you can race and stuff. Okay, let's let's do this. So for you to make this into a car, we have to flip these towards the dino's heads. Oh, okay, like this. Then what? The legs go in, fold these in, and what, what does the chopper do? Okay. Okay, so it goes in straight line like this, I guess. Okay, so this actually does look like a chopper, right? Wow, and you still have the button for sounds and everything. Ah! Wow, okay, this is cool. And for those of you wondering, the pieces do have the numbers on it. I'm not really sure if you can see it on the camera, but they do have numbers on it to make the entire uh, puzzle thing easier. But yeah, it's a chopper. It's an actual chopper, and it has weight to it. Should I drop it? Yeah, I don't think it will break easily. I'm trying it on the carpet, but still. Yeah, it won't break easily. Let's do the others. <music> Okay, this is cool. This is cool as heck. Like, you get a raptor, and it has articulation. Like, you can move its arms, its body, uh, the mouth moves, uh, the legs moves a bit, move a bit. But yeah, 
Okay. For it to turn into a car. Now, you know, this is an actual car, so it has wheels that work. <laughs> so basically, you just pull everything in, I guess. Yeah. Yep. 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 And what? Oh, these flip, these fold in. Yep, that's a car. It's a car that you can actually drive. Wow. Okay. This is so cool. Like, this is the car. And of course, you get your sounds and everything. Mm hmm. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, two more left. have it we have our t-rex and articulation it's in the legs this thing moves for some reason i guess you can pretend that it's a shield or something and then the mouth moves wow, 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 and the arms move Rawr. i like it. it it's it's way too cute come on now this is a cute t-rex now in order for you to make it into a car what do we need to do okay so we flip this up i guess no wait Begin in dino mode, flip the tail up towards, yeah, flip this up, close everything. So basically, they just fall into each other, right? It just collapses into each other in order to become a car. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Again, the wheels move. And this is the car. And I guess you can also use this as a shield, right? Oh no, shield. Here you go. Like, use your imagination which kids have a lot of and it moves again it has some weight to it and i highly doubt that it will break easily which is a good thing now on to the triceratops which seems to be the cutest of them all <music> have our cute little green triceratops with red horns uh-huh 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 again the wheels move because it is going to transform into a car so let's do this in order for it to transform into a car you lower the crest now what uh you put yeah it, this is basically supposed to be a tail but for some reason it's not really sticking so yeah that could be a manufacturing issue or something or maybe I can't really figure it, figure out how to stick it in. Yeah. Yeah, keep that in mind if you go for a Triceratops. Yep. 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 Or maybe it's this way. Nope. Yeah. This seems to be a manufacturing issue. Huh. Okay. So basically, this goes in like this. And then what? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And these come in, yep, they basically go in here. Yeah, so basically these, this leg is supposed to go in there all the way. And, huh, it's not really, yeah, that's not really happening. Okay, yeah, I figured it out. I put these things incorrectly, yeah. Okay, yeah, I figured it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So these are supposed to be like this. They're supposed to match. And now it's, okay. yeah, okay, now it looks like a car. Yeah, my bad. Hey, hey, you learn, okay? You learn, you learn as you, as you solve the puzzles. Yeah, this is an actual car now. So here we have it. We have the Triceratops. We have the T-Rex. We have... The raptor, mm-hmm, 
and we have the pterodactyl chapa so we have these very cool looking dino cars and yeah they can turn back into dinosaurs if you want or you can keep on playing with them as cars and all of them come with their own so sound and lights and yeah as far as taking these uh, taking the parts off you can do that you can easily do that they do come off easily like just look so you can take it all off and you can pack it up again in the egg and yeah again and have to get experience the thing again <laughs> if they want to hatch it and stuff now let's talk about the switch and go gorilla muscle car again for ages four and up and and you don't have to basically like put it put it together and it comes with 30 sounds and phrases uh this is what the others look like collect them all yeah, we have the T-Rex muscle car, the Velociraptor motorcycle, and the T-Rex race car. And there's something coming out of their mouth. So let's see what the gorilla ended up giving us. Oh, it has a screen on. Okay, it it can gives you expression. It can give you expressions and everything. Let's do the gorilla growl. Time to hit the road. Easy to transform. Toughness, power, intelligence. Da 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 da. da. Okay, let's. let's open it up. This is what it looks like out of the box. You have articulation in the legs. Okay, the arms move like this, the mouth opens, and I think, okay, how do you transform it? Though? Oh, okay. Ooh! Ooh, okay. <laughs> Supercharged and ready to roar! Okay. <laughs> yeah, the screen. <laughs> I think uh, it actually it should, yeah. Turn it on. Engine purring, time and clicking. <laughs> I'm ready to race. Oh, there. Okay, how many? How many different? Hang on tight. Yeah. <laughs> but let's shut him down. What a race! <laughs> Okay, how many? Like 30 different sounds. Yeah, that's a lot. 30 plus. I'm a speed machine. <laughs> this is fun seeing this character in the uh, on the screen. Road guardians, roll out. Road guardians. Ramming speed. <laughs> Okay, I wonder what the gorilla action is supposed to be. The chest pounding. So let's go back to the gorilla mode. Uh-huh. Oh, you can also make it like this. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, this looks cooler, right? Yeah, this looks cooler to me. Again, use your imagination. Okay. Transform back into a gorilla. Oh, in, gorilla out. yeah. So basically, this uh, the screen changes when you're in gorilla mode, huh? It's time to move. <laughs> Here I come. Okay, so what what's the chest bounding um, action? Like this, like this. It it won't do it them itself. Roar. Okay, roar. Got it. Yeah, I like the fact that when you're in gorilla mode, the phrases change. Giant gorilla coming at you! Yeah. <laughs> Fist pound, teeth gnash, gorilla mm. roar! Okay, I figured it out. So the on-off button is basically this thing, if you can see it in the camera. So... Uh, Yeah, and off. 
Now, as far as the gorilla uh, chest punching thing is concerned, so there's this button over here, and you just press it. Yeah, this is this is supposed to be the chest pounding action they're talking about. Okay, a lot of clicking. I don't like the loud clicking. But yeah, it is pounding. It is moving its arms. I'm not the one doing this. I'm just pressing the button. Yeah, I actually thought it was going to like go all the way in. Maybe if I make the arms go a bit in. Like, no. Nope. Yeah, the arms need to be out like this. Yeah, so this is the gorilla pounding thing. Which, yeah, I mean, compared to all of the phrases and everything in gorilla mode and in car mode, the phrases are where the fun's, fun is at. This pounding thing is, yeah, okay, I get it. But it's, it's just loud. There you have it. Thank you so much to VTech for sending me these toys, which, hey, I had fun. I had fun putting these dinosaur cars together. At, like, this is where the most of the fun is. This is just an easy toy for kids to play with. But if you want them to actually solve something and create something, then this is where it's at. And also, again, these come in these egg cases. So if you are thinking of doing the egg thing during uh, Easter, but a bit different, might as well give them these eggs, right? Dino eggs. I will be doing a written review of this for the Geek Geekery. The link to my review will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up. And yeah, uh, feel free to share your thoughts about these down in the comment section. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later. Bye.